Now the heat pump, which is actually part of the air condition, stops suddenly. So let's find out what is the problem. So if you're looking here, this is the 60 amp breaker for the furnace. This is for the air condition. And I'm going to suspect there is an issue here with the breaker because it suddenly broke. So that's the first thing I would like to look at. And what I have to do here, I have to measure the voltage between the two hot here. That should be 240 volt. Between hot to zero should be 118 volt. So let's try to measure the volt and figure out what's going on. I'll use the voltmeter to test to see. I just want to show you there is voltage here. Like if I'm going to take it from this point to this point, you can see 118 volt, 120 volt. Okay, so now I'm going to one of the heart of the furnace. I'm checking here. It's 118. I'm going to check between this hut now. It's 118. But between the two hut, if you check it, you figure out there is zero. Zero voltage. What does it mean? It means that one of these breaker is disconnected. Maybe burn inside or it doesn't work properly. So now what we have to do is to replace this first, to replace this breaker. And before I'm replacing this breaker, I have to shut down electricity. Correct? Okay, let's do it. So here is the breaker. That's the main breaker, 125, 125 volt. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to shut it down. That's a very important. Now we don't have electricity to the house. To remove, I want to make sure there is no voltage here. And there is zero voltage, that's good. So then we can work with gloves and stuff. And now I have to remove this puppy. And I'm going to use for that screwdriver. So you can see it's removed. Well, that is the way. If you look very carefully, you can see it's already burned here. So you see here that is burning, dead. That's okay, but that's gone. So the, this one, if you can see, it's already burned. And that's broke. You can see inside what's going on. So really, everything is really burned. What show you that this breaker, you can see parts here. It's already disintegrated. Okay, so we need to clean it a little bit and then we put it back. But that's a very important because this will save you a lot of money. Then you call it technician or something. To replace stuff like that will cost you a hundred dollar. And for the furnace, might be not an honest guy will tell you the compressor go or something like that, and you pay maybe a thousand dollar. Okay, let's continue. So this is the part that disintegrated belong to this 60M switch breaker and you can see here if you look carefully you see how black it is it's actually matted everything I had to clean it with a screwdriver for over 10 minutes or so and with this brush to remove all the debris here so that's important so now everything look okay remember there is no electricity here that's very important and now when I'm ready to replace it and I'm going to replace it with Siemens 60 amps Siemens breaker to replace this breaker. This breaker is broken as you can see here. Everything is really melted. Okay, it does not work anymore. Okay, let's replace it. See here the rusted, which is kind of a green stuff. That's because it did not have protection, substance protection. And that's probably it's moisture that created between of that. And let's create the short. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace it with that one. That's one art. And that is the second art. That's too hot. This is the bed breaker. And we're going to put it here. I'm going to put this breaker. But before I'm going to put this breaker, I'm going to put a substance. To protect from corrosion and moisture, it, it won't short again. On the two hearts that you have here, just put it around them. Okay, one and two. 
you really want to use your just make it nice evenly and don't worry it's the conductivity here is zero really let's work well now we're going to connect it so you can see I putting Putting the substance here, you can see in the new switch breaker. And again, I'm going to open it a little bit. It's enough open, really. This, by the way, seems it's a very, very reliable. I think it's one of the best, not the best one. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put this conductivity here. This hut, the first hut here, and I'm going to close it strong. It's very important to close it quite strong because you really need a very good contact. Remember, that's one, and this is the other one here. Remember to close it very, very strong. Yeah, it was 60 amps. So in both of them, you got 120 amps. And it's stout. And this is quite significant. So we close it, and now we're going to put it. So to put it, it's also going to be a bit tricky here. You need to use a little bit of power here. Okay, so I'll put it here, and then. I will try to push it, so push it inside, as you can see it's in, okay, and I'm still going to hold it off, by the way it is on, this one I'm going to put off, let's give it a push, because this can go up and down, so let's turn on the, the breaker and see what's happening. On, and now the electrical is on. So to show you here, I just turned on the electricity and you can see between these two hot, there is 240. If you look here on the voltmeter, I put it here and you can see immediately it's coming 240. Okay, so there is now 240. First thing I'm doing, I'm putting it on. Remember the heat is off, so nothing should happen. Okay, now the most important before I'm doing anything, I want to check between these to see if there is 128 118 sorry 120 volt I put it here that you can see so I touch here and it's 115 now so again and between that to these is 110 20 let's see between both of them that's the most important so you have to be very careful here 236 volt so it's actually 240 volt okay so now what I'm going to do I'm going to open the heater and see what happens okay so we can start so let's see she we're going to turn it on and as you can see it's working excellent 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 that's the way you save to yourself a hundred of, if not thousands of dollars from a technician that might be not honest with you. So the only thing that is now is to actually close the switching box.